Hi guys, welcome to the Soul Song. My name is Nina. Thank you for clicking on this video. This is going to be a career and finances reading for all fire signs and we will begin with Leo. I just want to throw a disclaimer out there that this is a general reading and uh, yes, it's a career reading uh, but sometimes spirit um, hijacks the reading to give you messages that are not related to that particular topic so just keep an open mind and take only what resonates and leave the rest behind all right so let's begin with leo i have already picked out some oracle cards for you to take a look at and to get a general overview of uh, what you can expect in terms of your career and finances for the month of October and moving into November okay some of these messages may not apply straight away it's also possible that this has already happened and um, um, yeah it's quite possible that it will take place only in November or the following month for you okay so we have storm warning okay then we have man holding a coin then we have treasure island and co-create this is nice we have a nine and a ten a seven and four so the message that I'm getting here is that I feel like there's going to be something unexpected and uh, this I see as a warning sign okay from spirit that pay attention to your finances and I have recently um, <laughs> I'm sorry for um, talking personally uh, in your reading. I don't mean to hijack your reading. But I'm just giving you an example that um, a few days before the bank that I usually transact with uh, collapsed, I was getting some signs and I was seeing certain cards pop up a lot in my own personal readings okay so um, I'm not trying to scare you or anything but I would see this as a warning okay L take a look at your investments take a look at where is it that you are expecting money from have you lent somebody money or are you expecting money to come from a particular source that you're not really sure of anything any loophole any um, sort of um, unstable uh, income source take a look at that because this is going to help you okay um, again I'm not trying to scare you but if you take this as a warning it will help you for some of you this may have already happened okay and you may have gotten some signs or you may have uh, seen something um, seen some red flags okay when it comes to lending or borrowing money and uh, even investing your money in the right places and um, maybe you worked for if you're like a freelancer or something maybe you work for a client and they are refusing to pay you on time whatever it may be in your case um, just be vigilant okay and uh, the good thing here is that spirit is working with you okay and it will send you some kind of helpers or supporters who are going to I'm hearing help you wade wade through the storm okay so that is how spirit works that is how the universe works 
uh, they send you helpers or they send you help in the form of um, people who advise you, people who support you, people who unexpectedly show up when you need them or even strangers who um, show up sometimes in your life at the right place at the right time, you know, when, when maybe you need them the most. And this could also be in the form of some kind of signs that you receive, okay? And uh, I feel like you do have good luck on your side, okay? And this person, I feel, is going to help you. This is kind of like the King of Pentacles energy for me. And this is like what the magician does. He co-creates with the universe using... Uh, his wisdom using his manifestation skills and uh, utilizing his existing skills and abilities to the best um, and uh, using them with manifestation skills to create what it is that he wants okay the right results the right outcomes so overall it's a great energy just be a little careful with um this okay the warning all right so we'll begin with your tarot reading and the question you're asking is what are the messages okay just wanted to come out oh look at that you have the six of cups and the six of wands straight away Maybe I should end the reading here. <laughs> you have two sixes which are about balance and harmony and equal give and take and equality and um, equity. I'm also hearing if you have uh, invested a certain amount somewhere, it's going to pay off, okay? We have the king of pentacles which came out like that for some reason. Okay. This is just for Leo for career and business and finances, please. For the month of October, moving into November. Okay, we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. What else? Messages for Leo. Career and finances, please. I'm also hearing that you will be able to overcome any sort of battles that you may have faced, okay, in the recent past. Um, any sort of struggle that you have had to go through as far as your finances is concerned and stability is concerned, okay. Oops, yeah, just when I was speaking about stability, we get the two of pentacles in reverse. That's good. It means that you are moving into a more stable environment as far as your money is concerned. You may have uh, even started investing your time, effort and money into like a side business or something and you realize perhaps that uh, you can't focus on two things at a time and that you need to focus on and decide on this one path and go ahead with it okay oh the cards are just jumping for you this is good you've come out of a place okay that has you have the queen of pentacles at the bottom you have come out of a place that has not been too great financially and i feel like um also a message that i'm getting here is that you may have not paid attention to the signs okay the high priestess is someone who is quite who is intuitive who is and who does the research okay she is someone who is really knowledgeable she's read a lot someone who um of course she listens to her intuition but she's also like um a bit like the high priest okay or the hierophant who's a teacher who is someone who 
um, possesses a lot of knowledge and wisdom okay so this being in reverse i'm getting the feeling here that in the recent past you uh, had probably not listened to your intuition or not done the correct amount of research on a particular project or something like that something that you were working on maybe on the side okay mostly this has to do with like a side business side hustle kind of a thing okay and that didn't really work out that uh, left you feeling quite unstable financially and left you maybe with some financial loss as well is what i'm getting that is also being represented here by the king of pentacles in this position which is kind of like neither neither here nor there you know and uh, unstable basically this i feel is like a different story it's a different um, uh, it's like a side or parallel story okay i strongly feel like that doesn't have much to do with your career but uh, it could also be that you were not in the right kind of job or you didn't really want to feel invested in the kind of work that you were doing earlier because you felt that it's not exactly the right fit for you okay and um also the message that i'm getting here is that whatever this uh, project or whatever it was in your case it um left you feeling quite uh, it it uh, resulted in you feeling quite spent in terms of your energy your resources your money your time everything okay so i feel like you've left that in the past which is a good thing and now you're looking to the future you're looking forward to a new beginning you're looking forward to a new start and uh, keeping all of these past experiences aside as lessons that you've learned okay and moving ahead willing to take a risk in a new direction i'm being told to say here that take a risk but take a calculated risk okay do not make the same mistake again because i feel like the fool is looking back at all of these experiences and before you take a leap of faith look back at your recent past look at things that have not worked out look at things that have brought you a financial loss especially and don't make that same mistake here i am really being drawn to the dog here which is trying to almost stop the fool from taking that or diving uh, down the cliff okay so i have to tell you this um yes the fool is a uh, great uh card it is about new beginnings new starts but i strongly am getting the message here that you need to look back into your past before you take any decisions or risks okay especially uh, uh things that have affected you financially okay all right what is what is coming for leo you're definitely on on to something here okay i feel like you have also recognized a potential in a particular line of work or something that can give you rewards and gains okay if you have been contemplating looking for or asking for a raise or a promotion i feel like that's going to come your way okay and again i'm getting this whole past kind of feeling uh energy from this that you need to i'm also hearing don't be childish okay <laughs> i don't know what that means perhaps you have been a little um um how do i put this perhaps you haven't been too careful about where you should spend your resources especially invest your money in okay and your time and energy as well okay what else 
also for some of you i'm getting a message that if you if there was like something that you wanted to do as a child okay something that was always that lucrative option or something that you wanted to be when you grew up in terms of your profession look back at that because that can help you and maybe that is going to bring some kind of um success your way okay what else is coming for leo for career and finances for the month of october why is this kind of cups here in reverse okay there's some other message going on here okay i'll get to that <laughs> I get to that but I feel like that has a um, completely different message it doesn't have much to do with your career and finances it is quite possible that something went down uh, in your family in your home or in your marriage something like that that uh, has affected you a lot emotionally and that kind of brought I'm also hearing child custody I don't know why I'm hearing this okay yeah that can affect your finances if you are sort of battling for uh, shared resources shared wealth you know with your spouse or someone you are separating with or um, even family wealth okay that is quite possible and that can greatly impact your not just emotional well-being but your financial well-being as well and finances are money is deeply connected to our emotions okay it's the base chakra yeah just as i was speaking about emotions we get the king of cups so i don't know what's happening here i feel like uh, it's a good thing that i made that disclaimer in the beginning I feel like this is a separate message that wants to show up for you. Okay. I hope you can see these. Okay. Hmm. So perhaps it was like a third party situation and you had to fight for your rights, okay? that is what i'm feeling and that also may have affected your finances your money situation what else for the your career and finances please leo career and finances okay going back to that storm warning card i just want to say that um uh, Don't be alarmed, but if somebody is planning to, or if you have someone in your life who could sue you for something, okay, that is what I am uh, getting as a message. Be careful, okay. It's just a forewarning. Okay, this is nice. I get the ace of pentacles but it took a long time to come out. I feel like this is going to be a little late, okay? Perhaps um and here the knight of wands at the bottom of the deck just when I said late. <laughs> so I guess it won't be that late, but it is going to come, okay? Um some kind of offer, some kind of uh financial relief i'm hearing okay this could be in the form of somebody supporting you pitching in or wanting to invest in your project or offering you a job if you have been um out of uh, if you have been like unemployed or something and uh, even a raise or a promotion it could be just about anything that gives you a boost okay financially and that helps you maybe with extra money 
and it could also be a whole new start and a whole new beginning of something new that some new paths that you are pursuing okay that is going to lead to success and uh, abundance all right so this looks great let me just ask for some clarification as far as this other parallel situation is going on what's all that about why is the two of cups and the queen of cups and the three of cups in reverse this doesn't look good and the ten of cups in reverse here please clarify these yeah this again i'm getting like caught some kind of legal battle i don't know why i'm getting that custody divorce um cheating at the night of pentacles i feel like this is someone else okay someone who is coming to offer you something stable and something that will work in the long run something durable chat tangible something solid okay and someone who is solid and dependable reliable this person is bringing you this ace of pentacles so that's an offer coming your way for sure but why is this three of cups and two of cups here i'll take a um, an oracle card for this okay mm -hmm. why is what's going on with this situation okay clean it up that makes sense whatever this situation is the reason why it's coming up in your career reading is because it is affecting you yeah look at that we have regeneration clean it up okay and at the bottom of the deck we have never ending story i feel like this is a huge emotional mess whatever this situation is and it's dragging you down uh to the extent that it is affecting you um financially okay it's affecting your ability to co-create with the universe it's affecting your ability to manifest uh good things whatever you want okay your goals and achievements so the advice here is to clean this mess up i feel like this has something to do with your family or your love life okay something that didn't go in the right direction um there may be a third party involved in this or third angle to the situation it doesn't have to be a another woman or another man or anything it could as well be a third element maybe someone is like really addicted to their work or their job and they're not giving you enough time or there is some other angle some other third element to the situation or it could as well be finances somebody is maybe keeping wealth from you okay giving you this illusion of a really happy relationship and a long term commitment even though it's not on the surface this is what is uh, available this is what is visible and i feel like this has left you quite perturbed and disturbed and it is what is um affecting you your ability to even create abundance for yourself okay so the advice from spirit is to uh clean up this mess and to put an end to the story whatever story is going on i feel like this may have been going on for quite some time okay uh, it is 
quite common for people to get lost in relationships to the extent that they make some decisions that are not good for them financially okay all of us have been there at some point in time they say love is blind but well <laughs> this is what happens um so also if you have any kind of um pattern of thinking or you know looking at the past in a more glorious way than it was anything that is hampering you your growth your success then it's time to clean that up as well any kind of story that you are telling yourself it doesn't have to be about someone else or something else it can be about you yourself your ability to create your ability to um see the turtle is carrying the treasure on its back okay it's not going out there seeking this treasure it's carrying it on its back so it's it's all about believing that it's all with you you know with within you and you have the ability to manifest in your 3d reality everything that you need is within you and um, sounds very cliche but you you are the treasure you are uh, the magician you are able to um create everything that you believe in and everything that you believe you're worthy of okay um this could be as well an internal battle that you're fighting with yourself but the good thing is that you are at the end of this cycle okay whatever is affecting you um financially and that has a deep rooted uh, emotional angle to it okay so uh, it is starting to uh regen you're starting to regenerate okay and i'm i'm also hearing regenerate income so for a lot of you this is almost like starting from scratch okay starting the fool's journey again i hope you can see these cards okay so wow this is probably the longest reading i've done for any sign <laughs> in the career aspect uh it looks great okay leo you have some really good prospects here okay the good thing is that you are even coming out of this maybe poverty mindset or not being deserving of something good that is coming your way if you have any kind of thinking like that please clean it up okay um make sure you take advantage of that offer when it comes your way if not uh, immediately towards the end of october or the first half of november expect some kind of good news coming your way okay and you're moving towards a more successful brighter time so i wish you all the very best leo let me know if this reading resonated with you and if you found it useful and do like share and subscribe to the channel as it supports the channel and Thanks for watching again. I wish you all the very best. Take care. Bye bye. Hi Aries, this is your career and finances reading for the month for the rest of October moving into November. Okay? Uh we'll be taking a look at what is to come for you in terms of your career and finances. Uh keep in mind that these are general messages and they may or may not apply to your situation but um also that sometimes a uh, spirit ends up showing you messages that are not related to the ones that you've come here to listen to okay and i just saw that with the previous reading as well so i'm just throwing that out there so let's begin with um these oracle messages okay just to give you a basic um, an overall idea about what to expect in terms of your career and finances we have yang 
building blocks appreciation and seventh chakra archangel uriel nice this has been coming up a lot in career readings and <laughs> i feel like we're all being asked to or being called to listen more to uh intuition and to see through a lot of uh bs if you know what i mean okay uh because i feel like uh this book here that she's holding is like secret knowledge or things that you um, that are not visible to the, to the naked eye and the seventh chakra is the crown chakra so it is about um wisdom and knowledge received from spirit uh and from your intuition from your higher self whatever it is that you believe in okay and i feel like you may be getting some intuitive hits that are going to help you take the right kind of steps and action towards achieving your goals okay as far as your career and finances is concerned this is a brilliant set of cards because it's all positive there's no warning there's nothing uh, negative about this there's no uh, hint or indication of something even uh, not going by your um, not going uh, in your favor okay so the building blocks and yang energy is is quite clear it is about taking the right steps steps sorry um and also what i'm getting here is don't rush through it okay um i feel like the message that i'm getting here is that take your time with the process because if you take one wrong step it may affect the foundation of what you are putting an effort into you know the structure the building so uh, so to speak the building blocks so it's a bit like uh, how you you play uh, tetris um you know trying to fit the right pieces in the right place so that uh you can see the entire picture and so that the foundation is really strong and i feel like you will have a lot of inspiration this uh coming um in the near future to work on your goals and your career okay and no doubt you're on the path to success and appreciation okay i'm also getting a message here that show appreciation for people who who help you through this process through this journey okay as that would uh, it's it's like showing gratitude for everything that you have and everybody that you have uh, in your life who is supportive and who's helping you achieve the the goals that you want to achieve okay so this looks great let me just uh, keep this out there for you to take a look at for the rest of the reading and you start with your tarot reading what's to come for aries career and finances for the month of october moving into november just a sec okay and then i thought i saw something weird in that card hmm i have a feeling there's a different message to go with that card but it's not coming to me clearly as of now what is going on aries you have a star the wheel of fortune great start now this is about uh the crown chakra 
okay getting those intuitive hits listening to your intuition listening to those and paying attention to those signs and synchronicities that are uh, guiding you okay you are being guided on the on towards the right path and i'm, I'm also getting half faith okay have faith that the wheel is going to turn in your favor that you are being guided and that um, spirit is by your side and they are going to help you okay for some of you you're going to really shine in in the public eye and uh, especially if you have like an online business or something that um, puts you in front of people you know um, something that brings you some sort of fame okay like public rec recognition i feel like this uh, is going to come your way okay and we have the fool and the lovers in reverse hmm what's happening there okay so we get the three of wands and the knight of cups all right for some of you this has something to do with a relationship okay something that you were waiting for something that you i feel like you're so uh, what I'm hearing is you're going to take your cup somewhere else, okay? I don't know why I'm getting that. I feel like you were waiting for this person or this opportunity to come your way, but they didn't. Again, uh, I don't know why this love or relationship message is showing through here. If that is not the case with you, um, this could be an offer coming your way which uh, which excites you, okay? Something that makes you feel happy, something that you can relate to, okay? Something creative, uh, perhaps something that you find fulfillment in, especially like emotional fulfillment, okay? Or some kind of... Uh, appreciation coming your way or even apology i'm hearing okay i feel like you were waiting for this new start for this new journey to begin and you were resisting um some kind of a decision some kind of a choice you didn't want to make the choice but now i feel like in this month you will move ahead and make that choice okay yeah we get the nine of wands in reverse hmm, dropping your guard dropping your guard is what i'm getting i'm hearing don't drop your guard okay all right so interesting I feel like you will get or you're likely to yeah, you will get some kind of message or information okay that's going to come quickly your way something good but at the same time um, there may be some risk involved in it this could have something to do with, with like an overseas offer something like that okay where which requires you to travel all right and just as i said travel we got the world in reverse so there's a bit of a delay there is some delay happening here okay why is the world here in reverse okay so to clarify the world we get the five of pentacles and the four of swords Okay, and the Ace of Swords wants to come out for you. Okay. What is this about, Aries? What's going on? We have the Ace of Wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Okay. 
so here's what I feel um, I feel like you were kind of resisting making a choice okay or making a choice to even accept something that is coming your way I know this is sounding a bit vague but that is the message that I'm getting here and uh, with the world here in reverse the ace of swords the four of swords and the five of pentacles in reverse i feel like uh, you're going to get some kind of information or some news is going to come your way that is going to put you out of this financially um <laughs> I'm hearing the word constipated, <laughs> financially constipated kind of position, okay? And I feel like you've had to wait for quite some time for this news, for this epiphany to come your way. It could be external, it could be internal as well. And I feel like finally you're going to realize that, um, that you have a... Um, that spirit is guiding you towards the right path okay and that this is the kind of work that you need to do or this is the kind of opportunity that you should follow or chase or not chase exactly but take advantage of in your life okay because definitely with the wheel of fortune and the eight of wands coming your way you have an opportunity coming rather quickly towards you some really positive um inspiring uh kind of news or messages communication coming your way that's going to set you on on the right path and uh it's going to help you make the right decision as well but i'm also getting that you may be not exactly listening to your intuition okay because what I heard with this card as well, with the Nine of Wands in reverse is don't uh, let your guard down, okay? In the sense that if you find something fishy with what is going on, listen to your intuition because that is what is going to guide you. Also, gather more information Try to gather as much knowledge as you can, research about the project, about the opportunity, about the company that is approaching you, about uh, the role that you will have to um, take up, you know, all of those things. This looks really bright, but let me just ask for a clarification for the lovers in the verse. Why is the lovers here in the verse? Okay, we have the Ace of Wands in reverse and the Four of Wands and the Three of Swords in reverse. What's going on, Aries? For some, so for some of you, I feel like you are going to be into minds about this, um, about whether you want to take this opportunity or not because of a relationship okay i'm just gonna say it honestly that is what i feel but even though i feel like your um how do i put this your initial um fire okay with respect to this uh relationship has dwindled okay and I feel like there's a lot of confusion here. Someone may try to... This again is looking like a relationship or love-related message, okay? And that happens sometimes because I feel like you might have to leave someone behind or, you know, travel far away from someone and that is what is... Um, kind of uh, that's the reason why you're resisting making this decision okay um on a separate note what i'm getting is if someone does 
show interest in you in terms of uh, your love life or relationship or someone is expressing their feelings towards you um try to look at it from every angle possible and see the situation for its reality rather than falling for any illusions because there's a need for you to um dig a little deeper okay that is the message that i'm getting here for you intuition okay you have some really good cards here aries the wheel of fortune is on your side you have the 8 of wands you have the 3 of wands you have the fool um the four of wands is also about stability and structure and achievement small mile milestones on your journey as well the star which is like a wish fulfillment and being on the right path and um even uh, your hopes and dreams coming true okay so i feel like you're seriously going to get some kind of epiphany okay that's going to probably um hit you like right through the crown chakra but you i'm also feeling a bit of resistance here i don't know why and it may have something to do with a person in your life that you don't want to leave behind or that you are you think you may be sacrificing a relationship for your career or finance let's just put it that way okay that is what i'm getting here you might not want to leave your home as well if this is not about your love situation you may have to relocate and you're thinking about whether or not you should take up this offer because it's it's going to probably require you to relocate um maybe somewhere far so strange message there <laughs> um i feel like it will resonate with at least one of you out there so let me know if this was useful if this was helpful for you and um this overall it looks great okay um yeah <laughs> interesting reading so do like share and subscribe if um uh, you feel so inclined as it helps support the channel and uh, take good care of yourself and i wish you all the very best for the month ahead um and moving into november as well for your career and finances okay take care bye bye hi sagittarius this is your career and finances reading for the month of october moving into november these are general messages so take only what resonates and leave the rest behind and the messages may also come in the form of uh, um something that is unexpected i have been seeing that uh, some of the career readings have had love messages also in them so keep an open mind okay and uh, yeah this may apply to you in the month of october i mean the remaining of october or towards november starting of november or this may have already taken place in your life that's also quite possible so for some reason you got one extra card as your guidance or overall um theme for the career and finances area of your life let's take a look we have mending okay treasure island this came up for i think it was leo as well and you have loyal heart and just as i was telling you that you may have additional messages in the form of love messages as well okay I don't know why this is happening but I guess it's been a theme okay you're not alone then we have the fourth chakra which is the heart chakra again 
and we have rest and rejuvenation okay interesting okay uh, one of the messages that i am getting here is that um, if you have been struggling to find fulfillment in your work i feel like it is because you have in a way separated yourself from what it is you actually like doing okay and also separated yourself from spirit so without trying to sound to airy fairy what i'm getting here is that uh if you've been wondering about your work in terms of fulfillment whether it is actually something that you enjoy doing something that you love doing and about contemplating about trying to find the right fit as far as your work life is concerned okay having that perfect fit that perfect match i feel like you are being called to take a step back take a pause and tap into your wisdom and into your heart chakra and see what it is that you actually enjoy doing because that is where your treasure lies that is where you will get fulfillment okay and um, i feel like this there's like a string a uh, a bond between your effort and what comes straight from your heart what i mean is um for some reason i feel like you may have strayed away from yeah there we go now we are reaching the message <laughs> you may have strayed away from your path in a way um so to speak because of whatever external circumstances maybe you had a lot of pressure on you or de- or whatever and to deliver is what i'm hearing so uh for whatever the circumstances may have been i feel like they led you to uh move astray from what it is that you actually really really like and want in terms of your goals in terms of what you want to achieve in terms of the kind of life that you want to live okay sounds like a huge uh step that you're going to take but that is the message that i'm getting for some of you this may have something to do with a relationship um uh, perhaps you are going to perhaps your um career path also involves or the smooth um your smooth work life also kind of depends on your relationship with a significant other okay and i feel like unless you mend your heart and your heart chakra you will probably not be able to move on and to um achieve uh, whatever you want to in terms of your career and finances okay so that's kind of like the message that i'm getting here it's quite strange let me know if this resonates with you and yeah don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel as it, as it helps <laughs> okay um it helps support the channel as well and do like share and subscribe if you enjoy the reading and if you find it useful okay hmm oh this magician card literally just jumped out so i'm just going to leave that there and we have the 10 of wands with the queen of pentacles which is good i hope you can see that yeah hmm i feel like you're finally coming into a good place finally understanding everything that you uh recognizing your own abilities and i feel like you've you've dropped some kind of burdens some kind of um stressful situation you've left it behind 
and are finally beginning to take care of yourself okay this may also be some kind of support okay so the queen of pentacles this may be a person who is helping you through your journey this may be um like a boss figure although i don't really see her as a boss i see her more as a motherly kind of nurturing kind of energy but it could as well be um someone who is supportive of you okay and someone who is helping you overcome your challenges is what i'm hearing and this is uh, your energy i feel sagittarius you are um beginning to expand in terms of your abilities and skills and be really confident and drawn to the number 1 it is like the i card for me okay like i am able to do this and with a strong can do attitude okay having the confidence that you can overcome any challenges and obstacles that come your way okay we have the two of pentacles in reverse this came up for uh, um aries as well and we have the star clarified by clarifying the strength card in reverse so what this is telling me is that you have come from a place of in the recent past you have been quite down in terms of your spirit in terms of and that i feel is what you are also mending here okay and now that you are on the right path it is putting you in a more optimistic frame of mind it is helping you uh, see things from a more positive uh, perspective okay and the star is also about a wish fulfillment so anything that uh any option any door that was closed for you initially i feel like now you have the faith that it is going to open up for you okay even though uh i mean it's good that you've dropped that one pentacle here you have made a choice or decision to move forward even uh, despite all the um, hardships that you may have faced and that has um, affected you even in a physical manner is what i'm hearing okay for for some of you uh it deeply affected your confidence as well but i feel like this could also be your energy okay um like you've left the past behind and are now picking up the pieces and just getting your act together and nurturing yourself taking good care of yourself and being more op- optimistic being more uh hopeful about the future and looking towards it in a brighter perspective okay and definitely some kind of wish fulfillment uh could be in store for you what else for sagittarius for october moving into november career and finances we have the four of cups yeah this is all all you this is all your energy attached to this i feel like um it's almost like you've been in a coma you've been depleted and tired and are now gaining momentum okay you're going for your goals because you're coming from this really apathetic lethargic kind of a uh, emotionally neutral uh energy and you're picking up the pieces that's perhaps what i should call this reading yeah this is about something that didn't really 
work out in the past but now you have now you are feeling inspired now you have the inspiration to move forward in a more confident it's like you're striding confidently okay uh, i'm hearing that song i've got the power <laughs> Okay, this looks good. Let's see what else. This is definitely some kind of a new inspiration, a new start, a new opportunity, maybe even a windfall coming your way, Sagittarius. This looks fantastic. Okay. I feel like if you have maybe applied for a loan or some kind of funding that you're waiting for as far as your project is concerned, especially if you are like into if you've maybe made some presentations to get some funding for your project for your, a startup or business whatever it may be something like a passion project something that you're really uh, inspired uh, to do you may be getting that loan that um, approval okay and also some kind of help in terms of monetary um, help okay and we got the six of wands which came out like this I feel like it's it's a choice okay that's what I'm being inclined to tell you you have a choice whether you want to take this up or not or whether you want to follow this passionately or not because it is going to bring you success and recognition and rewards perhaps even some kind of fame okay that is quite possible but i feel like it is in your hands i'm being inclined inclined to say that it is in your hand to make this happen okay you're the one raising your arm here raising your hand towards spirit to give you this inspiration and to um help you co-create with the universe and help you manifest in 3d what you want okay and again i feel like this is your hand which is grabbing hold of this wand it's all in your hands okay i don't know why i'm drawn to hands in this reading <coughs> What else can we look forward to? Sagittarius, career and finances. Okay, the two of cups in reverse. I don't know why this keeps coming up. Okay. You see the reflection? The two of cups in reverse with the two hours there. Okay. I feel like you're finally... Okay, here's what's happening. You are realizing your own ability, your power of manifestation, okay? And now you're taking full advantage of that is what I'm getting, okay? Uh, initially, the message that I was getting was that also one of the messages I was getting was that you may have gone astray from yourself, from what you love and from spirit as well. So these are three things that are required for you to create what it is that you want, okay? Yes, the magician works with the universe, with the divine to create whatever he wants in the 3D, in the third dimension. But for that, you need to be working on something that you're really passionate about, something that you really love doing, and I feel like you're now realizing that everything is a reflection and if you put in the uh, effort and the inspiration into something that you really really love doing then it is and believe that it is going to happen then it is going to work okay it is going to work for you What else for Sagittarius? Career and finances. Mm -hmm. 
get the five of swords clarified with the nine of cups i again this is going back to the same message i feel like you were conflicted about what it is that you actually wanted in the past okay in the recent past you were kind of not sure of what you were if what you got what you were doing was actually what you wish for and sometimes uh it it takes a little bit of clarity to understand or um how do i put this it takes doing the wrong thing to understand that that is not what you want sometimes it's important to um and i i hope i'm not sounding confusing you what i'm trying to say is even knowing what you don't want is an important step in achieving what you want so at many a time we are not really clear we are not sure of let's say you go for an audition somebody is looking for an actor for their for a particular part a lot of times uh, casting directors don't really know they're not really sure of what they're looking for but when they come across it they're sure about it yes this is what they want and in that process they come across a lot of stuff that they don't want so that also leads to clarity i hope i'm making sense here and it's not sounding too confusing <sighs> it is in your hand is is what i'm getting okay you completely are capable of manifesting whatever you want but i feel like so far because you were not clear about what you wanted or you were not maybe believing in uh, your ability to manifest what you really want what you were manifesting was something that you didn't really like something that you found quite burdensome and even boring for that matter okay it didn't excite you it didn't inspire you what else in yeah see i was just talking about clarity and we get a seven of cups so once you get over this state of confusion about what is it that you actually want you will be able to move forward and for that reason you need to tap into your intuition you need to go back to this okay take a step back and start over again go back to the drawing board and maybe even look to your past for answers okay what did you want to do when you were younger what did you want to do when you were a kid what did you want to grow up to be think about all that we have the four of wands and the empress in the verse hmm for some of you i feel like you may have given too much okay we have the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck you may have given 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 too much to a relationship or even at home you know just being responsible for everything and everyone and you've been carrying this burden for a long time and for that reason maybe you've not been able to focus on yourself and that has kept you kind of confused about whether um about your first of all what it is that you actually want and secondly if you can actually get there and you need to trust in your own ability to do that i feel like you are on the brink of a wish fulfillment okay and you are being guided by spirit and this victory is at hand but it is again your choice you have to reach out for it it is in your hand i don't know what it is about hands in this reading but i am getting that message it's completely in your hand sagittarius and if you have been overextending yourself or 
maybe for some of you this has something to do with um mending that needs to take place between you and your mother okay something at home that may be affecting your career and finances okay for some of you maybe a very small percentage but for some of you your mother may be quite overbearing or not giving you entirely or being um not really being nurturing okay maybe they've burdened you in some way with a lot of responsibilities and that has led you to in the beginning i was getting this message that circumstances may have led you astray from the path that you were supposed to or meant to follow go back to what you love doing okay sagittarius that is all that i can say here you know, we have the 10 of pentacles in reverse here something to do with your home life something to do with maybe an inheritance as well okay if you are living in your mother's shadow and you it's only leading you to anxiety then maybe this is the time to think about yourself think about what you really want okay so <laughs> strange message for them yeah well i have to say what i'm being guided to say so i hope this was useful and helpful for you okay you do have success on your hand at hand okay you being guided move towards a more inspiring time and grab that one and take a hold of this opportunity that's coming your way let me know if this resonated and do like share and subscribe as it helps the channel and i'll see you in another video i wish you all the very best for the month ahead uh, in terms of your career and finances and in general take care of yourselves and stay safe and thanks for watching bye bye